Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to our science class. Students, in our last lecture, we had learned how animals survive by adaptations. How different kinds of animals do different kinds of adaptations and live among surroundings. Students, today we will learn how animals protect themselves and for that protection, protection how they adapt themselves. So, students, you know that animals are often hunted or eaten by other animals. So, in order to protect themselves from their enemies, they are adapting themselves in their surrounding. Now, how do these animals protect themselves from their enemies? First one is camouflaging. Students, camouflaging means mixing or merging with the surrounding or with that colors. Now, the color and shape of some animals like zebra, leaf insect, grasshopper, chameleon. These are such some animals that they can merge with their surrounding. They can change their color and shape and that shape is somewhat merging with the surrounding. Students, this merging with surrounding is called as camouflaging. And the animals who do this are called as camouflaging animals. Students, camouflage makes an animal hard to be seen in this, in its surrounding. Like a leaf, a leaf insect is rarely you can see right on your screen that a leaf insect is rarely seen or rarely identified within this sticks or woods. So that is nothing but can and this adaptation protect them from their enemies. Students, a million, this changes its body color according to its surrounding to escape from its enemies. And students, even arctic foxes who live in polar regions, they have brown coat in the summers while they grow white fur in winters and that is also to merge in the surroundings. So, this is camouflaging students. Next one students is shells and spines. Shells you might have seen snail and turtles or tortoise. This they have very hard shells on their back and their bodies are very soft. So, in order to protect their soft bodies, they are hiding in their shells or their hard shells even the porcupine students porcupines and hedgehogs they are having sharp spines on their back just to protect themselves from this third one is students strong legs you might have seen that some birds giraffe ostriches they have very very strong legs students they run very fast whenever they sense any danger like from lions from the others they sense any danger then they run very fast so they have adapt themselves to this strong legs and students even poison the fourth one is poison students you might have seen that bees have poisonous sting right and eaves have that that they only sting to protect them they won't sting you like that they only pro sting you to protect them. They use their string to inject poison into the bodies of their enemies. So these are some kind of protection adaptation for protections. Now let's see students what are the adaptations for food. Students you might have seen that in our surrounding there are many animals and the eating habitat or eating habits of each animal is different. Some are herbivores, some are carnivores, some are omnivores, so some are parasites or some are even scavengers. Now let's see one by one what are this. You might have known herbivores. Herbivores are the animals that only eat plants or plant products. They have very sharp front teeth and this front teeth or cutting teeth or incisors are used for biting and strong back teeth for grinding that is their molars are very strong 
and they chew the to chew the plant students can you name some herbivores cows buffaloes deer these are herbivore animals students carnivores carnivores are the animals that eat flesh of other animals like lion tigers leopard they are carnivores students they are having very sharp canines that is tearing teeth they have very sharp tearing teeth and this canines are used for hunting and tearing the flesh of their prey while students omnivores you might have seen that crows bears human beings like us they all are or we all are omnivores we can eat both plants also and flesh also of other animals so we are omnivores and animals like bears cows this are also omnivores they can eat flesh also and they can eat plants too and students parasites what are parasites the animals that live in or on the body of other animals are called as parasites and students this parasites are like lice bed bugs they live on the body of other animals and they suck their blood so some animals like even tapeworms hookworms they live inside the body of other animals and they get their food from them so they are parasite students and students the animals from which the parasites get their food they are called as host so whichever body they are on that body is host and the animals which are living on that body are called as parasite students okay and the last one is scavengers students scavengers are the animals who eat flesh of dead animals so the vultures hyenas they are scavengers they don't hunt their prey students they just eat the flesh of dead animals the vultures uh, they have very strong and sharp beak just to tear the flesh of the dead animals okay students i have completed the adaptations or for food endangered animals students the animals that are in, in danger of becoming extinct that, that that is disappearing they are called as endangered animals students in our last lecture we had learned that animals those who survive or adapt themselves in the surrounding they only survive and the others who are not able to adapt themselves in their surroundings they become endangered or they become extinct so students the animals that which do not exist on the earth now are called as extinct animals you might have learned about dodo which we have disappeared from the earth and even students dinosaurs who have disappeared from the earth they are now extinct animals and students nowadays tiger giant panda they are endangered animals means they are in danger of becoming extinct so students we should take steps to conserve these animals otherwise they will become extinct in coming years so students here we have completed our chapter adaptations how animals survive